welcome to Coffee in a Flat Cap, a series where I sit down with a cup of coffee, a flat cap on my head, and I talk about mental health, uh, more specifically ways and tips and tricks that you can use to improve your mental health that I've personally picked up in my 14 year long battle with several mental illnesses. This is episode three of Coffee and a Flat Cap. If you wish to watch episodes one and two, I will leave a link in the description down below. Uh, before we get into the bones of episode three, I do really want to point out that I am not a trained mental health professional. I am just someone who is giving you tips, tricks, and a little bit of advice on how you might be able to better improve your mental health that I've picked up in my own 14 year long battle with several mental illnesses. So let's jump into episode three. Today I want to talk a little bit about keeping busy in regards to your mental health. Um, this is something that I had to learn um, when I was first diagnosed with depression and anxiety and my other mental illness which I'm not overly comfortable going into uh, too much detail about. I didn't work for a very long time and during that time my mental health was really bad you know I was really struggling and it got to the point where um, I actually had to spend nearly two months in a psychiatric unit and I do think um, personally if I was working or I had something to keep me busy then I wouldn't have had to spend that time in that unit. Um, again this is something that I've picked up in my own 14 year long battle, as I've said in the intro of this video, with mental illnesses um, recently. So, okay. So we'll, we'll go back to the beginning of 2020. I was made redundant from my job, which I got in the summer of 2019. And I was busy working and that had a really big impact on my mental health and the way I was feeling in general. So before I got this job I was depressed, I was anxious all the time and I wasn't keeping myself busy in a healthy way. What I was doing was binge watching shows on Netflix and playing a lot of PlayStation and that really didn't have a positive effect on me. It wasn't until I got this job that things really did change and I noticed a vast improvement in my mental health. So going back to 2020, beginning of 2020, I was made redundant from that job. And then I had a job interview lined up in March, I think it was. And that interview was cancelled due to everything that's going on at the moment. And then we went into lockdown where I just could not find work, could not find work. And I was in a really bad place mentally. And I thought, what can I do to keep my mind active and keep myself busy? And I thought, I love YouTube. I'm a bit of a YouTube addict. Why don't I start a channel? So that's what I did. I started this channel and I filmed my first video back in April or May sometime, I think it was, I honestly can't remember. Um, I went for a long walk and I filmed it and filming it took, I think about three hours. I was out walking for about three hours. I came home, edited it, which took another two hours. So that was five hours of my day already gone. And that night after I uploaded it was the first decent night's sleep I'd had in a very long time. And that was all because I kept myself busy. But even if, even if, if you start a YouTube channel, just film little videos, edit them, upload them, and just do anything that will keep yourself busy. It could be pushing the hoover over, dusting the sides, having a tidy up, you know, going for a walk just to clear your mind a little bit. Just uh, keeping busy is important for your mental health. But at the same time that you're keeping yourself busy, I find that if I'm too busy, that's when I get stressed and stress is a trigger 
um, for my one of my mental illnesses. So for me, it's all about trying to find that happy medium between work and relaxing. So as I say, if I'm working too much, I get stressed, which triggers my mental illness. So I need to find, as I say, that happy medium between knowing how much work is too much work. And that may, may be the case for you. If you go from, like me, if you go from not having a job for several years to jumping straight into work, it, it can be quite daunting. Well, I found it very daunting, um, but it was what I needed. I needed that set routine during the day, waking up at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's not nice, but if you've, if you've got a job to do, chances are you're earning money from that job. So it gives you that incentive to wake up at six o'clock in the morning. And that's really what it did for me. So I set my alarm six o'clock in the morning. I had a two mile walk to work. Then I was at work for two hours and then I had a two mile walk home. And it's, it was that routine that I badly missed. I sorely missed that routine of having something to wake up for. And personally, I find routine is just as important for your mental health as keeping busy because it, it, it really does take your mind off of things so if you if you, say 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 at the moment you're not working like i'm not working i will make videos as part of my routine to keep myself busy um be it going for a walk and filming it or filming an episode of Mystery 5 or filming an episode of this coffee in a flat cap. It's that routine of sitting down for a few hours and talking and then going into editing and editing the video for another hour and a half maybe. That really does help the way that I'm feeling. So if you're not working, you could try writing a list of things that you want to get planned during the day, setting a time to wake up waking up at that time, you know, having breakfast, brushing your teeth and, you know, maybe having a shower. For me, when I did those, it really helped. And as I say, I'm not a trained mental health professional. This series is just me giving you advice and tips and tricks that I've used that have helped me with my mental health. And having a routine has definitely helped with my mental health. As I say, set a time to wake up wake up at that time and go about your day. But you could, again, write a list of things that you want to do during the day, be it tidying your house, doing washing, doing last night's washing up if you if you didn't want to do it the, the night you ate dinner. It's just little things just to keep yourself busy and have that set routine that can really have a great impact on your mental health. So to sum up episode three of Coffee and a Flat Cap, it really is just keep yourself busy and try and have a set routine because those two things have been instrumental in improving my mental health and the way that I'm feeling in general. So I think that's going to about do it for episode three of Coffee in a Flat Cap. I'm now going to go and finish said coffee because it is getting cold and I despise cold coffee. Um, so just to again reiterate the points of this video, keep yourself busy and have a set routine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you all have a very lovely day.